Hello Nash5, in this video we're going to talk about copyrights, designs and patent act 1988. We have used a variety of different media within our website. We have used audio, we have used video, we have used graphics. And in the real world, if we were going to make these websites that we have produced publicly available, we need to make sure that we have got the correct permissions to utilise all this media in the website. And the law that kind of goes along with this is the Copyright Designs and Patent Act 1988. And that means that any content creators of material have the right to hold the copyright of that material. And that means that they can give permission as to who is to use that material or who can't use that permission. Therefore, if I want to use some material that is copyrighted, I need to seek permission of the copyright holder as to what I can use and what I can't use and how much they want me to pay them to use it. And if I don't seek permission, then the content owners can use the copyrights, designs and patent acts to pursue me and I may have to pay a fine or I may have to uh, spend some time in prison depending on the severity of the act. So why does the Copyright Designs and Patent Act exist? Well, it exists to ensure that people are rewarded for their endeavours. If I'm a musician and I spend months putting together an album and I'm, you know, there's a lot of work behind it and then you just go and upload it to your website um, and I make no money out of it, I, I get no reward from you uploading it, then I'm not being rewarded for the work and effort that I put into it. So it gives me protection as the copyright holder from you infringing my rights and using that material without my permission. The Copyright Designs and Patent Act 1988 essentially covers a, quite a lot of material, literacy work, musicals, dramas, artistic work, sounds, film broadcasts and recordings and image files. So anything that I produce that you may want to use, you need to seek permission to use it. If we look at an example here, if I wanted to create a website about Nike and I wanted to utilise these three images here, I've got to use a brand image, an image of a Nike Air, and an image of one of the Williams sisters um, from one of their promotional materials. I need to seek permission from Nike to use these resources. Okay. If I don't, then it's detrimental to me because as a big company, they're likely to come after me and sue me. As the brand owner, Nike, I don't want other people to use my brand because by them using it, they could then damage my brand as well. If we look at another example, if I wanted to make a website of Doctor Who, so here's a film clip from YouTube that I wanted to use, I would need to get permission of the owner, the BBC, to utilise it. If I wanted to include the theme from the song, I would need to contact the record company that owns this and ask for permission. If I wanted to have a, a page on my Doctor Who website about cosplay, I would need to contact the owner of this image from Instagram and ask if it was all right if I could use it. Now, in this case, the BBC and the record company are likely to ask for money to utilise the product. The Instagrammer may not be. So, Copyrights, Designs and Patent Acts prevents me as a user and a creator from using some other person's work without seeking their permission. As a creator, it protects my material from other people using it. Modern times we have got something called Creative Commons and Creative Commons kind of allows people to use material without necessarily paying for copyright but either attributing the work back to the original creator. And there's a great video from Tech Quickie that I'll post in the description to this video all about Creative Commons. And it's because of Creative Commons I have been able to utilise a track from Exxon in the background to this video. On, all I've had to do is if you look in the video description, you'll see that I've attributed the music to Exxon, who was the creator. So that is the Copyrights, Designs and Patent Act with a wee sidetrack into Creative Commons.